Do you see? Burn long and hot, bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the friendlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. <laughs> or alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we will find them. This place is heavily guarded.
This longship is splashed with yellow paint. Quick, Joe. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? This carving reference is gallon in verse. Surrounded someone. Must be careful. Though she's laughing behind these shackles, wretched carrion beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me! Run! Survey the area, Sunan. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. They will attack on sight here.
Bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. 
Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. Of Danes held captive. Get your yellow dog. <laughs> this poem is about Leaf. Did he write this about himself?
The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. They'll be grateful you risk your life to find them. I would be. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Sorma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night, gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grandbridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Garland, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, the forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me, and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her. Let's go. More hey. sail.
Drop the sail. Run up the sail. Did I ever tell you all the story of how I... You soft score. Got a story? Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aeid. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and oak hard arms. Drop the mask. Save it for later. <laughs> Hidden. One on each side of the door. Hmm? Wigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, heathen. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigmund, Wigmund, let's try one final time. Quit Grant Bridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. Hooray! Now, veins of Grandebridgeshire, retake what is yours! No time for that. We must free her first. I'm at your side, sir. Raise your grade to me! Fucking try it! Get back here and face me! Ah. 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 
Hans! You cannot hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigman's gone! He's gone! <laughs> <laughs> Let your plague-ridden body feed my field. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating a morning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen... Leif and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. 
I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel. And here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Soma was smart to build this tunnel. This tunnel leads to the longhouse. A trader marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The trader must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank. A trail of yellow paint drops. Soma, to understand your people well, I should better know you. How did you rise to the rank of Jalskona? My King Guthrum led the summer army through this land. When he marched into Wessex, I volunteered to defend the city. To encourage trade, so that our forces would be rich and strong if called upon. Guthrum agreed. So I grew the city up from very little, and I fell in love with her. It was a dagger to the heart to lose it, and a balm to have it back. If I can find your traitor, what will you do with them? They will die by my hand. No pain. No public humiliation. A traitor or no, the bastard is also one of my closest people. My friend. My family. Only I will bear the burden of causing their death. It will not muddy the minds of any other. That is enough. Why do you love Grandbridge so deeply? I was orphaned young but old enough to remember it. I feel I've been reaching for a family all my life. Grandbridge is more than some silver boom. She's a place for me to build that family. For anyone who needs one. Wanderers, smugglers, and craftsmen alike. That's all. Good luck, Eivor. Thank you for doing this. Soma, to understand your people well, I should better know... That's all. Good luck, Eivor. The markets are up and running again. Soma doesn't waste time. Aid me. Be my eyes.
can I get for you? You would look very powerful with that. You would look very striking with this. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Nothing else? I will see you later, friend. Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. These bags of bienas, packed for a long journey. Did you see anything strange on the night of the attack? Hmm. Come to think of it, I noticed one of the longships wasn't where it usually is. It was beached further north, on the riverbank. Where was this? Northeast of here, along the shore. It's been a few days, though. May not be there now. <laughs>
Hello and welcome. Smart of you to keep honing your skills. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. to establish my kingdom. This is your kingdom, you say? Indeed it is. Northex. And I am its first and reigning king, Equald. And as sovereign, I seek a keen ally to secure my strength. Kingdom. This island here. Yes, from shore to shore. My brothers and I came upon this unclaimed land some months ago and found it suited to our ambitions. Sadly, my brothers were drowned in a terrible squall soon after, along with our riches. There was an arm ring among them. To you, I offer this arm ring in exchange for my loyalty. Find the ring among the wreck, and you may call a king your friend. A good arm ring can be as important as blood to the heart. If I find it, I will let you know. I found your arm ring amidst the wreckage of your ship. By all that is great, I cannot believe my eyes and ears. Now you are pledged to the kingdom of Northex. That will show him. I am honored to forge an alliance with your stock, King Eckwald of Northex. Long may you reign. Thank you. As you are pledged to me, I am pledged to you. If ever I have an army to lend, you may make use of it.
happen? What if Soma is just cursed with bad luck? Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Searching Eivor. I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain, a lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled, and Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know it can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Like your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Abel. The red enemy of the French will make quick work of this place. If they see me, this will get messy. We are visited upon them all! Leave no house unburned! For licking Elderman Whitman's boots.
advantage. Come, brothers, let's end this. <laughs> Watch my lead. Smell of burning roof thatch and a heady turf fire. <laughs> now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery Sutur himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Hey, wait!
good traveler. What seek you? Perhaps I can help. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. 